Hello everyone. I'm going to demonstrate the Clanox Bluetooth stack running on Diva C series DM4C1294 connector launchpad evaluation kit using DIRTAS and running on Code Composer Studio. This is an SPP application. In this application, I'm using two UARTs. One UART is connected to the Clanox debugger, and the other UART is connected to the Bluetooth module. Both the UARTs are running at 921600 baud rate. Before I run the application, let's go ahead and run the Clanox debugger. You can configure the UART by clicking on connection configuration. Here you can select the port number and baud rate. Since I'm using 921600 baud rate, I'm going to leave it like that and click OK. You can start a new debug session by clicking on connection start. You, here you have to select the interface that you're using. Since I'm using UART, I'm going to leave it like that and click OK. Here you can see it says connected to the port COM5. So it's all good. Now let's go ahead and run the SPP application. So once you start run the application, you can see the debug messages appearing here. Go ahead and click Tools Debug uh, Virtual Console. It will show the initial application menu. Before you test any other Bluetooth functionality, you have to select Initialize Bluetooth Stack option. Let's go ahead and initialize the Bluetooth Stack. So the Bluetooth stack initialization is completed. Now let's search for the devices in the proximity. This will list all the devices that is in the proximity. I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth in my phone. I've turned it on. You can see my phone appearing in the list. So once you found the device that you want to pair, you can select C and enter. So now select the device that you want to pair. So I'm going to select one and enter. So it's trying to pair to the device. User confirmation is required on both the device side as well as on the application side. So I'm going to say I'm going to confirm the passkey by pressing Y and enter. And I'm going to say pair on my phone side so once user confirmation is done on both the phone side on the application side the initial menu is displayed again now let's go ahead and connect to the paired device by pressing 3 now select the device that you want to connect connect to the SPP on the device by pressing 1 it tries to discover the COM port on the remote device So once it's done, we can go ahead and send test data through the SPP by pressing 3. So it sends the data and displays the speed at which the data is being sent. You can continuously test this. The speed is a bit slow here because this is a debug version. So we get debug messages as well. So that will slow down the Bluetooth connection a little bit. So once I implement the DMA and also connect an antenna to the Bluetooth module, the speed will be much better than this. So that ends the demonstration. Thank you for your time.